folks, I'm Keith Bowen and this is Hard Rock University and I'm going to try using this white wall as a virtual whiteboard by using graphics, see how that works out. I got the results back from a batch of material I ran through the new concentrator uh, several weeks ago. I uh, finally was able to ship out the, assay, the samples and get it assayed. Uh, I made a substantial redesign of the concentrator when I came back this fall and it seems to be working pretty well. Uh, it should also scale up pretty well. So anyhow, I started with 100 kilograms of Ryan's ore and the assay it was, it was crushed a half inch minus split and then a split was sent off for assay and it was 0.83 ounces per ton, which ain't bad for a dump. Okay, I ran it through the concentrator. I got three different products. Number one is what I call tailings. The outfalls goes into a, a bucket, which is at a tilt, and the liquid overflows. And so the heavier stuff settles in the bucket, and I call that tailings. It's, it's pretty much a fine sand. It's finer than beach sand. Okay, and from there it goes into the primary settling uh, container in which there's a bit of a circulation going to try and keep the finest stuff stirred up whereas the um, coarser material of the real light, uh, of the real fine material still stays in the primary settling and I call that heavy slimes. And then the overflow from that goes to another container, which settles. As, that's where it's recirculated back into the system. I call that light slimes. Uh, the ratio of heavy slimes to light slimes is a little bit difficult to determine, especially in this test, because it's really hard to clean everything out uh, without doing a lot of filtering and stuff like that. You're going to lose a lot anyhow. Due to previous tests, I simply assume that the heavy slimes is a little bit more than the light slimes in terms of weight. So let me uh, put the results up on the board there. Started with 100 kilograms, 0.3 ounces per ton, 2.8 grams of gold in trained. We had 57 kilograms of tailings at 0.15 ounces per ton, which is uh, 0.29 grams. Or about 10% of the total wound up in the, the tailings. Uh, then I had about 23 or so um, pounds of heavy slimes, which had about 0.2 grams of gold in it, which is about 7% of the total, and an estimated 20 pounds of light slimes running 0.16 ounces per ton or about four percent of the total. This means that the losses are about 21 percent and that means the recovery <laughs> is a nice 79 percent. Now that's that's pretty good especially as I'm still doing tweaks, making adjustments, etc. to try and figure out exactly how to optimize it and I'm sure it's going to get better than that. Plus some of the gold in the heavy slimes could no doubt also be recovered. <laughs> Possibly the light slimes too, but I don't know. But anyhow, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. Um, that's not bad considering it was a new design and it beat the old design. It's easily scalable and um, still just doing early testing. This was like the third or fourth test of the new system and it's getting 79 percent recovery so I'm very very pleased with that and uh, hopefully I'll get it up and the mid 80s would be nice uh, I think that's doable with this ore uh, not sure uh, you know like you know the Montana B ore I'm not sure now it's possible we have tellurides in that and so that may be where some of the gold is going, but I don't know. Anyhow, uh, 
that's where we stand right now with the concentrator results. Uh, I'm pretty happy. It's been a rough month or two. <laughs> been doing a lot of things, fixing cars, uh, rebuilding, you know, concentrators, impact mills, uh, doing other stuff, and uh, I'm I'm kind of worn out right now, but I will continue to keep on keeping on. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.